good job, man. Uh, back at the crib, this the next day. Before y'all say anything about my hoodie, I'm just wearing a hoodie because I like it. Please do not start that. Uh, yeah, not finna scare me out of wearing clothes that I already bought. But other than that, I want to do like a quick little Q and A. I haven't done one of these in a while. I kind of like to do these like every few weeks because you know my life is stuff is happening every single day. People always got questions, you know, whatever I want y'all to know. I'm pretty transparent with all of y'all, especially on YouTube. You know, I've been doing this for six, seven years now, so I like doing a quick little Q and A. Nothing crazy. Let's ask some questions. All right. Will you ever cut your locks? Yeah, I'm gonna cut these at some point. Probably in the near future. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just feel like the way I got my locks, you know what I'm saying? I got the whole half cut off. So it's like, my hair grows pretty fast. So I feel like in the next two years, my shit gonna be like down here. And it's like, what am I really doing? Like, what is the point of me growing them up this long? So I'm gonna either cut them off or I'm gonna like keep them at this length or kind of like this length. It seems like appropriate for the age of 30. I just gotta prepare myself for the coming years. I know I'm getting old and shit. So I'm trying to make sure I don't look any you know what I'm saying? Any older than what I actually is. Or any younger than my age. I wonder if I'm gonna be grown, I gotta look grown at the same time. Why didn't you drop today? I didn't drop no music video today because two reasons. Um, I feel like y'all are criticizing my drops too closely to the point where I feel like I gotta drop something that's perfect every single time. Um, and you know, that's not, that's not necessarily possible. Well, it's possible for certain people, but Great music takes time. That's what a lot of people don't understand. Like this shit take a lot of effort, take a lot of money to put a song out legally at least. And it take paperwork and all this other shit. So it's like, when I'm dropping these songs, like these are songs that I probably made a little minute ago and I really just wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's not produce some scratch and all this other shit. Half these shit be like from YouTube beats. You know what I mean? It just be some beats that I got off YouTube or I just some shit I just put together. Um, but I'm obviously a great rapper. So it's, it sounds amazing still, but you know, it's not the proper marketing behind it and all this other shit. And then people start looking at numbers and then they start thinking, oh, this shit, he fell off and all this. Y'all just don't know the music industry and how much money comes behind all this shit. Like, all this shit costs money. We in the big leagues, man. Radio, playlists and change lives. Like, if you're not on playlists, you're not getting no hit. Period. Point blank, period. You ain't getting no big streams unless you got a TikTok hit. Get a TikTok hit at one in a million. And if you do get a TikTok hit, half the time, it don't even be your original song. It be motherfuckers mixing it up and doing other shit. So it's like, it's just different how the music game works. And I just been noticing how y'all just been criticizing everything and how it's looking and y'all care about the perspective more than the music. Well, a lot of people do, the masses do, I guess. So um, it's just about me wanting to drop the right songs. And for two, um, I just haven't been in the studio like that. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I haven't been in the studio in like two weeks, two and a half weeks, maybe. I just been chilling, posting on YouTube, relaxing, kicking it with family and shit, really on my vacation shit with music. Cause when I lock in the studio, I'm not able to get my time to YouTube and do this and that, you know what I'm saying? I, it's really only 24 hours in a day. So I got to split my time up correctly. I'm doing all these different things. So it's like, um, kind of got to pick and choose in a way because it just doesn't work like that for me. When too much smoke dropping. Uh, too much smoke is a hard ass song. I think I'm gonna drop that definitely next year. Uh, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be, the reason I, I'm making songs like this where it's more like hype and it's more, it's different from my other songs is because I wanna, I wanna grasp the, the performance aspect of music. Like that's my favorite part is performing. I'm on stage, I kind of black out. Like I just have fun. I don't care who's watching me or nothing. I'm very introverted. Like, I just said this millions of times, but I don't think y'all understand. Like, I don't talk to people. I don't, I'm not the type of, we go in a party. If I'm in a room, bro, you won't even know I'm in there because I'm quiet. Not that I like that about myself. It's just, that's just how I am. And when I get on stage, I just feel like myself. I feel like I can be myself. I feel like I can control the room. You know what I'm saying? I got an objective to gain a fan or give an experience to a person where they go home. They want to tell somebody about it. But I'm jumping up and down, jumping in the crowd, mosh pitting, grabbing phones. You know what I'm saying? Doing whatever. It's just, I like giving people that experience. So, Too Much Smoke is one of those songs that I'm trying to, you know, get into that lane. When you think you would link with OG Parker again for Dire for Respect 2 next year, we're gonna get that shit popping. Just gotta set it up correctly. Um, I set the bar high for the first tape. You know, we had Moonwalking on there, we had motherfucking um, Hood Melody, Impatient, you name it. It's a bunch of great songs on there, so I set the bar high, so we just gotta make sure we come, we come correct with that. We're just coming for sure. Would you like to get into movies or TV one day? Um, but I kinda wanna see where the music thing go first. And I'm really, I feel like this, this following year, you know, a lot of people say, I say every year too, this year is gonna be my year. 2023, I feel like with music, I'm gonna just really put my all into it and see where it go. And if it don't go where I want it to go, I feel like the movies and the acting shit is where I'm gonna kind of lean toward. Cause that's, like a lot of y'all know this, but that was like my first dream. My first like aspiration was to be an actor. So, you know, I've never really got to, I never apply. I get roles all the time. I just don't do it. Like I don't audition for anything. I don't really put my head into the acting world. And I know that's something that I would excel in, but I also know that it'll take a lot of time out of my, my life. So it's like, I gotta be ready for that, you feel me? So it's like, especially being around Hallie and shit and seeing how much time the acting shit take, bro, like sitting in the trailer for hours and all that other stuff, it's just, it ain't nothing that I can't really do all the stuff that I do. Like, I'm very, very free. If I wanna wake up and choose, you know what, I wanna go to the beach or I wanna do this and that, I wanna, I wanna fly here, I wanna do this and that, I can do that and work on the go. When you're acting, you can't do that, you won't set. 
I'm saying? So it's like, it's just something that I gotta really have a clear mind for and say, okay, this is what I wanna do. Contact my agent, give me, give me roles, auditions, and just start knocking out auditions and self-tapes and shit, and see what I land.